Hi guys, welcome to The Way I Did It. Here we are with a saggy headliner in a 2005 Honda Accord. Uh, what to do, what to do about it. All right, we're gonna replace it. They do sell headliner material at Hobby Lobby. It is foam backed and there is foam in here. I'll, sh I'll show you that when I get it out. So, first thing to do is to pop this off. Uh, these are the light. This is the light I put in earlier. What you can do is take the tool. You're gonna stick it up in there. You're gonna pop it loose. I'm gonna pop it loose right here on this hinge side. If I can get it over top of it, it popped that loose. Popped it loose there. There's four little catches. Cut that switch off. Let's see screws up in there and then there's two additional screws there we got to get those out so i'm going to try to make it easy on myself i have a impact driver and i have an extra long extension and i have if i can find them in the right hole i believe i have quarter inch sockets so i'm going to use a quarter inch impact adapter there what i'm going to use is my Long impact driver. Hopefully that sun's not blinding the camera too much. Get on there. So there's that one. Oh, do it in my cup holder. Didn't mean to. Uh -oh. There's another one. You can see that bolt there come out and then there are the two that are in here again uh, instead of black these are kind of a gold colored also eight millimeter and should be another one here another one eight millimeter All right, remember this guy this has lights which means it has power so there's a, if I can show you this real well, there's a plug right there. You got to press in the little middle piece to uh, pull it out. So let me, uh, let me do that. Nope. Can't get my thumb in there. Can't, oh, thumb, forefinger, hello. There we go. Push it in. So push it in right there. It comes right out. So there we go. I'm going to show you right here. Hopefully you can see that. There's a little notch in it right there. I may just have to order a couple of these. Oh, I think I'm shooting out of there. And there's a problem right there. I broke it. So I'll use my handy dandy tool. It's plastic so it shouldn't cause too much problems, too much damage. Twist it and get that off. See if I can do that. I don't even know if you can see that. Just take it, pull it right off of there. It's got a slot cut in it. Then Torx, a Torx bit there and there. All right, took the socket off, put the Torx driver on, get it up there. So I get it out of the way just a little bit. There it is. One down. I'm gonna hold this in while I do it. Do this. There it comes out. You gotta slide that. You gotta slide this electrical connector down through here. 
and you just push it, push it in and then pull it out. So I've pushed it in and pull it out. There you go. And then you got your visor. It's free. Free at last. Free at last. I got my visor. Free at last. That's how you do the visor. Now, you pull this down. And it's got these little tabs. You just flop them down. This is for the door handles. I mean, for the grab handles. And then it's uh, two bolts. You take them out. So, do the other visor. And do all four door handles. It's rather long, but it makes it easy sometimes to have that extension to get past stuff. So. Came loose. It's about to fall. Go grab it. There's that one. Put that down. Impact driver in there. There's that one. All right, and then. Just give it a little pull, little tug, and it comes right down. You can see it has these two little plastic pins here that lines it. So try not to pull it downward before you pull it out oh, directly away from the mounting point. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm shoving my little plastic driver in between there. Jeez, is there nothing I'm going to drop in between these seats? All right. That was the lamp cover that came off. I used, I finally had to use it. Jeez, throwing everything. Got the lamp cover off. I used a screwdriver. So this is a lamp cover. This is the lamp cover. It came off. I used this, had to use a screwdriver with just, just a little bit of pressure, not much. Try not to damage it. That revealed this. There's two screws, one here, one here. Got to get those off and then this will come down. All right, take the bolts off, it comes down. Again, it's got a connector. Right here, press on this and then pull the connector straight the way the wires are pointing. So I'll try that with uh, while holding the camera. Probably not, the, okay, so I can't do it while holding the camera. anyway so there's a, the connector was there you just pull it straight away from the connector just like that you just pull it loose like that you don't need to pull a bunch of it down you only need to you don't need to pull a bunch of it down you only need to pull where it goes past the headliner and then uh, the headliner's kind of stuck to the roof so you got to kind of pop it loose too so You just kind of got to work it out once you get all the door handles and stuff loose it should uh, a little bit of work it'll come it'll come loose the, uh, the cover on the a pillar here is holding it in so naturally you know you'll, you'll pull it back and away from it a little bit see that's like that right there and when you put it back in you got to make sure you tuck it back in the a pillar I'm not taking this down because I have airbags and I have no idea what you have to do to get that down nor do I want to find out okay I'm looking straight up at the uh, headliner from the rear seat those are the two holes where the grab handle was on the passenger side when you're pulling this out remember you got to pull this out from your vinyl trim pieces here on this there's a automotive retaining pin little plastic Christmas tree there's two of them on this so when you pull those down remember as a matter of fact my fingers are touching it it's about right there you gotta pop those down you don't just yank it side no, excuse me don't yank it sideways you gotta pop them straight down so when you pull those out so remember there's a couple of those here and there and then we got to get it out from here. I've got my molding pulled down, door seal, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, all right, I'll continue on and uh, let you know what happens. 
All right, I've got the headliner pulled down and there are some wires here. You can see it uh, goes to the visor. This is the right front. It's held by down, it's held down by some tape. We're gonna pull that tape up. Uh, pull it up here. So there's the visor. Got a little foam around the wire, stuck in some glue. We'll spray some adhesive back there and stick it in it when we go to put it up. So uh, here, got the map lights. I peel that up. All right, now I'm on the driver's side, and uh, this is where the wire is sourced from, and it's glued right here, I'm glued, hello, taped right here, we'll lift the tape up, it, some of the headliners come up with it, so I try to break that loose, so here's the electrical, so you got visor, here's a visor, this is the passenger side visor, and then you've got the map light connector, and then you've got this side visor is right here the visor for the driver and then you've got the dome lamp and i'm going to point this out you could see the dome lamp is definitely a different connector so you can't really put them in the wrong spot unless you're very very talented over here on the passenger side the seats as far forward as i can get it that lets the headliner drop down into the back seat and then what you have to do is do a little bit of manipulation to get it out. So I'm gonna do that and uh, let you know what happens. All right, there's my headliner laying on the ground. You do have to bend it. There's no way around it. You're gonna to have to manipulate it to get it out. Like I was mentioning earlier, Hobby Lobby does sell headliner fabric and it comes with the foam already on it. All right, so we've got to scrape all that off and uh, we'll get busy doing that. All right, so to scrape all this off, what to use, what to use. Well, how about a handy dandy Lowe's paint stir stick. I really don't want to scar my backing too much. Wood is a good media to use if you don't want to create damage. So I'll get back to you. All right, this is the material we got. Show you here has foam on the back of it. it may not be as thick as the original OEM foam but here's the liner or I should say the headliner the frame for it so what we're going to do is what we're going to do is because I'm going to probably get a little bit of help from my daughter so I'm going to cut this excess off down here and then fold it up, do one half, fold the other side and then do the other half. All right, we sprayed the headliner, the frame there, whatever you want to call it. Then we sprayed the material and that's according to the instructions of this 3M headliner adhesive. So now it's time to do this side. Here's the finished product. I did end up with some wrinkles, but it's my first headliner, so it was a learning process for me. A couple things that I figured out I should have done differently couple issues you cannot pull this crazy tight as you're laying it down if you do it will lay across these bins rather than into the bins watch this I'm gonna show you this right here see that see that fabric that's not all the way in that corner uh, same thing here don't pull it too tight this isn't all the way down but we're gonna leave it uh, got some wrinkles not too bad we're gonna leave it like it is. Uh, we did tuck and glue the edges 
all the way around. Same thing with all the holes. When you cut the holes, tuck them, glue them on the back side. And I just put uh, holes for the visors and the grab handles. All right, we're gonna let that cure into sunlight. Uh, oh, another thing I would recommend too, I would, if you're gonna do this, the best thing I would recommend is to do it in warm weather. Make sure this is nice and warm. This uh, material is nice and warm. So that when you glue it down, it's a little more malleable, a little more flexible. And that would be about it. We're gonna, I'm gonna put the sun visor back in. To do so with a, a little bit more ease than there was taking it out, I've removed the seats. If you wanna know how to remove the seats, uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a link in the description. Got a little video for that. All right, put the, it's flexible. You gotta bend it a little bit. There's no way around it. Put it in through the back door. There's the liner. And now we need to get the electrical connections where we need them. So here we go. Remember this is the, uh, this is the dome lamp. So we'll put that there. Let the tape hold it down. All right, I put a hole in there. I got the connector running through there. I got the tape held back over here. Fold this tape back over here. This is the map light connector. Dome light connectors in. I'll go over to the other side and do the other connectors. Okay, when I took the headliner out, there's not a lot of slack for this visor connector. So when you put this wiring back up in here this has got to be held up real tight real tight almost have it in place so the way i did this was i lowered the we're going to use regular car left and right driver side left passenger side right so what i did was i lowered the right side down and then i put the left side front a pillar in then i put the b pillar in and then the C pillar. I pop the front end to the A pillar. And it's a little, I, when we folded this, it's a little thick, so it looks a little weird. And the, just pop the B pillar in. I didn't remove any of the vinyl uh, beauty covers or trim, vinyl trim pieces. Then I pop the B pillar in. Now I'll, I'll put back the weather stripping. Okay, when you go to put this weather stripping back on, what I do is I give it a little squeeze. Give it a little squeeze, kind of close that gap back up so it grabs. Oh, I'm sorry. I squeeze so it close that gap back up. It'll grab better. And then just tap it on. So there you go. That's what it looks like. So just... just Knock it on. Gonna start putting the uh, components back into the roof. Gonna start with the dome lamp. So, I don't know how well we can see this, but there's the connector for it. So it plugs in. Plugs in like so. All right. Put that wire up in there. That'll go there. We'll put the screws in it and uh, then put the lens cover over it. Not gonna go too crazy tight. So, take the lens cap. It's just a pop in. Pop it in just like you pop it out. Sharp object. Fit in between there, pop it loose. All right, the next thing we're doing is putting the grab handles in. And if uh, you, can, you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, there's a threaded hole 
and then there is a hole just below into the outside of these two holes that hole and that hole and that is for these pegs so stick those pegs in and that should hold it in place all right so give me just a second see if i can get that done all right there's the grab handle got that installed do that for all four grab handles here we go the next piece to be installed is the map light sunglass holder combo all right so it's going to take two hands i'll show you what i'm doing just four bolts just like we uh took it out all right connected the cable push the four clips that are around the side i think it's four could have been more i don't know push it up into the headliner you can see my bad wrinkles but hey it was it was done for free i did it for the cost of the the cost of the material that's all it took so now we need to put the lens cover back up again we're going to line it up push firmly on the hinge side easy squeezy don't be too uh quick or impatient with these no no need in breaking no need in breaking these things all right so there's that and then we'll do the visor except for the little retaining clip for the visor i tore that thing slap up taking it out i'm going to do my visor now i'm going to do it on the hinge side electrical connector fasten it and then i go on about my business all right first thing we want to do is connect our connector we'll do that and then there's only the two screws two screws to get in all right let's do it and just so we recall that the visor used the torque head the torx screw to fasten all right got my two screws in let's so make a note of the orientation the screws are more front to back than they are side to side so when you go to put it back up and you can't remember how the screws are just remember they're more front to front or front to back the front one is a little more towards the center of the vehicle all right, and then we'll put the uh, beauty ring on and uh, put the other visor on, and then we'll be good. So anyway, so there you go. There's how you take your headliner out. Put on a wrinkled new one. <laughs> and then uh, put it back in. All right, that's the way I did it. Hit like and subscribe. Help me with the uh, Google algorithm. Turn off the bell, though. You don't want a bunch of notifications every time I post a video, which uh, isn't all that often, but you still don't want it. But subscribe. It's free. It helps me out. Thank you.